In this video, we're going to talk about how to create and manage new tracks in Guitar Pro 6. As we've seen in a previous video, whenever we create a new project, it's possible to choose from a list of templates. These templates correspond to different musical styles, and they each include a certain number of instruments that are going to match the style of music we've chosen. Let's start a new project, and we'll use the template Blues Power Trio. This template comes with three different instruments, an electric guitar, an electric bass, and drums. Each instrument has its own notation, a drum notation for the drums, a four string tab for the bass, and a six string tab for the guitar. If you would like the software to show a six string tab while importing a project, you can do so by going to the Guitar Pro menu Preferences, and select the option Import Pitched Instruments as Guitars or Basses. It's important to understand that the type of notation used is determined by the instrument used on the track. Once a track has been created, you can no longer change the type of notation used in that track. In this example, we're dealing with a six-string tab. In order to convert that six-string tab into a seven-string tab, we're going to have to create a new track by going into the Track menu, Add. We'll go through the guitars and select a seven-string guitar, and we'll add that instrument to a new track. And here's our new track to which is assigned a seven-string guitar. We have the seven-string tab. We're now going to select the riff that was originally written on the six-string guitar. Once it's selected, I'm going to copy that riff by going into the Edit menu, Copy. I'm then going to place myself on the seven-string guitar track, and I'm going to paste that riff by using the Edit menu, Paste. Even though you cannot directly change a six-string tab to a seven-string tab, certain visual options are possible on those tracks. These different options can be found in the track menu, Properties. And here, there are three different types of visual options available. This is where we can activate or deactivate the slash notation, standard notation, or tablature notation. Another advantage of the copy and paste technique is to transcribe a track that was not originally written for a piano to a piano. Let's take, for example, this guitar track and this bass track, and we'll combine them on a piano track. We're going to start by creating the piano track. And to do so, we'll go into the track menu, add, and we're going to select a piano. As you can see, we now have a track with a standard notation which corresponds to the piano instrument. We're now going to copy the guitar and bass track on this new piano track. Let's select the guitar riff, and as you can see, that guitar riff is written in a G clef. Then copy that guitar riff by going into the Edit menu, Copy. We'll now place our cursor on the G clef of the piano track, and paste the guitar riff by going into the Edit menu, Paste. We'll now do the same thing with the bass track, which, as you can see, is written in the F clef. I'm going to select the bass track, select the riff, copy that riff by going into the Edit menu, Copy. I'm now going to place my cursor on the F clef of the piano track, and Paste by going into the Edit menu, Paste. And that's how we can combine several tracks so that they're written in a standard notation so that a piano player could read them. Notice that if you're only using Guitar Pro 6 as an arranger and you don't want to deal with different types of notation systems, you can simply create guitar tracks, enter your notes and tabs, and change the sound of those tracks by going into the Instruments panel and changing the sound of every track individually.